Hello everybody and welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Yesterday I ranked every single Marvel Cinematic Universe movie and today we're going to be ranking every single Marvel Cinematic Universe television show. Before we get started, I'm going to address the big elephant in the room, which yes, I know not all of these are technically considered canon right now, but the reason I'm including all 14, 15 of these shows is because at some point they were considered that they were going to be canon, and also we're in a multiverse now where anything can really be canon, and these are just shows that I consider could be canon until we are seeing, until I see a different iteration of these characters, I'm to assume that these are canon. That is what I'm basing this off of. I know that some people disagree, and that's fine. You're more than welcome to disagree. But for the sake of argument, I just wanted to watch all these in order, and I did. And so I'm going to be talking about every single one of them, starting from worst to best. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen all these, if you haven't. Um, and also if you agree with my ranking or if you don't agree with it. I love talking about this kind of thing, so definitely comment below what you guys think. I'm going to try to keep this short because I'm tired and because you don't want to watch a you know very long video about television shows that most of you probably haven't seen all of them yet. Number 15, we have Inhumans. Absolute garbage. The worst show I've seen. Not even the worst freaking show that I've seen in the MCU. It is just the worst show I have ever seen. I hate it so much. The characters are all unlikable. The plot is dumb. The CGI is very bad. It does not deserve to be a show. It is so, so bad. Do me a favor, watch it, <laughs> and let me know if I'm right or wrong. I think it's absolute garbage and I hate it. Followed closely in number 14 is Hellstrom. Hellstrom had a very promising first episode. The characters I actually kind of enjoyed, and they kind of ruined it with the other episodes they did. They just kind of went very far down a hill very quickly, and I just did not have a very good time watching it, and it definitely sucks because I was really looking forward to actually enjoying um, this show because I liked the first episode a lot, and then it just kind of went downhill from there. Number 13, we have Agent Carter, and I think a lot of that has to do with, with, with Agent Carter is that, like, her story is kind of just boring. Like... It doesn't, like, it's it's cool. I like the idea that we get to explore her character a little bit deeper. And it did, like, start off, you know, as, like, one of the first MCU uh, television shows. And I just feel like ugh, it kind of just was slow. The second season was a little bit better than the first season, but honestly not by a whole lot. Um, so that's why it's pretty low. Twelve is Jessica Jones. In the first season, we had a great villain, didn't care about Jessica Jones. The second season, we had a very, very bad villain, and Jessica Jones got better. And the third season was just kind of like, we need a third season. And it's, I, don't, I don't think we need a third season at all. Um, and I don't think that the character worked as well as they, they wanted it to, because they don't explain her character very well, and they don't explain her powers. I like the idea that she's a drunk, and that she's, you know, working for Alias Investigations. Like, it's great. I like the character as a whole, but they didn't explore her powers enough in terms of, like, what can she not do? I like her sister a lot. Her sister's fantastic. Um, and I like the show in general, just not nearly as much as the other ones I'm going to talk about. Number 11, Cloak and Dagger. I... The last, like, two episodes of the first season were really bad, and the second season is kind of rocky, but the thing that holds us together is the two characters who are absolutely fantastic. Cloak and Dagger are, like, two of my favorite MCU properties. They are so much fun. I really hope we see them again, because they're absolutely great. And I think that under the control of Disney, this could actually go, like, in a good direction. I think this could be a very, very good show. I think that I would love to see another season of this show, for sure. Number 10 is The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Don't click off the video. <laughs> I know a lot of you are like, why is it so low? I just didn't quite like it as much as other people did. I think that Carly Morgenthau is such a boring villain. I, I liked the, the actual character development. I liked that Sam got better and that Bucky got better in terms of their characters. I like the new Captain America. I like that it introduced US Agent. All these things are great. It just didn't feel like it was... It didn't need to be a show. It could have been a movie. We could have had a better arc. The villain could have been much, much better. Um, but as a whole, it did what it needed to do, and I appreciate it, and that's why it's not very far down, but it's just not quite as good as these other ones. Nine is Iron Fist. Now, I know that you're like, why'd you put Iron Fist in front of Falcon and Soldier? I like Iron Fist as an idea. I like the idea that he is, you know, trying to be a defender of Kun Lun. The second season's really good. It feels homey. It feels natural. It's a natural progression from season one to season two that the characters all get better. That is the one thing that I absolutely appreciate from this, this series is the first season is kind of like rocky and like we don't really care about the characters. But the second season we're like, yes, you get it. We're moving on. We're progressing. 
into a very, very good, solid uh, season, which is why I think that overall it's a pretty good show. Number eight is Luke Cage. And the reason I like Luke Cage better than Iron Fist is like his character is always pretty fun. Like Luke Cage is very fun. The ending of season two was god awful. Like the ending of season two made me like, like think, oh no, I really hope we never see Luke Cage again because I'm going to be very upset. I just do not like the end of the season at all, the second season. It's awful. But the rest of it is very, very fun. I love Bushmaster. I think he's a great villain. He's a very fun villain. I mean, overall, it, it works as a show overall. It's very fun. But this, the end of season two, man, it's, it, it's very bad, very rocky. Number seven is Runaways. Runaways is very fun. I think all three seasons worked very well as a cohesive story, but there are definitely flaws in each one, but they're minor flaws. The characters are always fun. I love every single character in each show. The parents were kind of like wishy-washy, and honestly, I wish we had a little bit less from their perspective, or maybe a little bit more from their perspective. I can't decide which one. The, the, this, the kids are always the main focus. They're much more fun than the adults, but I think that if we had a better balance between the two, it might have worked as a little bit better. Number six is a show that I felt bad putting down here because I think it's absolutely wonderful, but that is Daredevil. And the reason it's it's a little bit farther down from being close to the top is because the second season is so bad. Like, we start off with The Punisher, and I love The Punisher a lot. Punisher is one of my favorite characters in the whole world. Um, and I love that we move from The Punisher into a different idea. It's not the whole season. That's great. But we introduce Elektra, and I absolutely hate Elektra with a passion. I just hate her character so much, I'm not looking forward to watching the other movie that has Elektra in it at all. Uh, I just, I gen generally and genuinely do not care about the second season. I think it's not good. And they bring back Kingpin for the third season, and it works very well, as well as the other Daredevil that comes in. Very well done. First season is one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. I absolutely freaking love the first season so much. I need to rewatch it again. Um, it's just so good. Um, but the second season definitely dropped it down for me. I do hope we see Charlie Cox again. I think he's absolutely fantastic doing what he's doing um, with the character. The character's great. I just did not like the second season at all, which is why I couldn't put it higher on the list. Number five is Loki. Loki is a very fun show, and of course it introduces the multiverse idea, and I absolutely think it's brilliant. But the only issue that I had was it kind of felt choppy. There were some episodes that were really, really cool, like episode I think it was two, where we get to see um, female Loki for the first time. Wonderful. Then there's some season, some episodes were really bad. Like the first episode was kind of like, eh, Rocky. And the third one was kind of like, eh. I just, I wish it was more consistently good instead of just like weird, wacky, inflatable, you know? I just think that it could have been a little bit tighter. Four is WandaVision. I loved WandaVision. WandaVision was so much fun. I absolutely had a blast watching it. The emotion, the raw emotion we get out of it is fantastic. I love the line um, about love and what is love if not, you know, whatever. I, don't, I can't remember. I'm so tired. It's so late at night when I'm filming this. But I just, I, I love it so, so much. I love that show. I, I, I need to rewatch it at some point. I'll probably rewatch it before I see uh, Multiverse of Madness. But I just, I absolutely think it's beautiful, which is why it is number four. Now we're in the top three, okay? The third one being Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And the reason that this one is third and not second or first is that mainly the first couple of seasons are kind of rocky. They're rough to get through, but the characters are so much fun. And of course, getting to explore the behind the scenes of the MCU basically is absolutely, absolutely a joy. I love Leo Fitz and Simmons, of course. Those two are my favorite characters in, in, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think they're wonderful. I think the acting is incredible in these shows. And, and all seven seasons are just absolutely watchable and so much fun to watch. So definitely consider checking them out. They're on Netflix right now. Um, I, I think it's just a brilliant show. Number two is The Defenders. I watched every episode of The Defenders. I think there's eight episodes in one day. And I was in college. I literally woke up and was like, okay, I guess we'll start The Defenders today because I had just finished, I think it was Daredevil season two before it was uh, that one. And I just was like, okay, we got to watch this. Maybe it was Iron Fist, I don't remember. But I was like, we got to watch this now. We got to get started. So I was like, I'll just watch one episode. I watched one episode and I was like, I cannot stop. I watched the entire eight episodes. It was like The Avengers, but longer and like with cool characters. Like, I love, like of course, The Avengers are great characters, but like, Daredevil, one of my favorite characters. Love Daredevil. Iron Fist and Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. Yes, please. Give me some more of that. Oh, man, I wish we got a second season. I love The Defenders so much. Such a cool idea. I think that season two could have worked very well. And it's kind of straight away from that, which I get. I think it's risky to do a season two for this show, but I just, I absolutely thought it was wonderful. And I knew they were building up to, to The Defenders too. I just, I knew it. It was so good. I absolutely loved it. But that leaves number one, which for me is The Punisher. And I realize that you're, a lot of you are like, eh, but The Punisher's not great. I love The Punisher so much. The Punisher is so good. The first season is so good. Like, I love the first season with a passion. Second season's a little worse, just a little bit. Um, but I love the, the, the clash between him and the, the kid, I forgot her name. Um, 
just so wonderful. The, the connection they have and the relationship they have is just, it works on so many levels and it's just so fun to watch. I have a pop socket of the Punisher right there. I have a piggy bank. I have this little this little action figure. It's a Marvel Legends figure. I think he's great. Oh, it's so cool. Um, I have a t-shirt. I just he, He's probably my second favorite. Who did I say was my second favorite before? Um, I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. I think that the Punisher is probably my, my second favorite after the... Um, after Spider-Man, of course, because Spider-Man's top tier. But uh, that's my ranking. That's my ranking of every single te television show. I've seen them all. Let me know if you've seen them all. Let me know if you haven't seen them all. Let me know what your ranking is. I definitely want to know. I'm interested in this kind of thing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you're interested at all, please consider subscribing. It's a huge help and just such a great way to support me. So please consider doing so. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated. And I'll see you guys in the next video.